Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Chemistry Art. I will upload daily one or two questions of case study because the board examination is very close. So today I am going to discuss about the case study based question of standard 10th. So in 10th standard, there are four chapters and this question is from the chapter number four, carbon and its compound. So generally in case study based question, you will given a case or paragraph of a particular topic and you need to answer the questions given below them. You can see the question number 31 to 34 are based on the given text and read the text carefully and answer the questions. So here instead of text, some of the structural formulas of compounds are given. So let's first of all separate them. So here you can see this is P, okay. Then this one is Q. Then this one is R. This is S. This one is T. And this small one is U. So you need to observe these all the structural formulas of different molecules and then you need to answer the question number 31, 32, 33 and 34. So let's start. First of all, you observe all the molecules and you can also start reading the question first. Okay. So I can see here that uh, all these chemical formulas or structural formulas are different uh, by their structure and by their functional group. So you need to know about the prior knowledge about the functional group and the homologous series too. So here I can see the unsaturation in the molecule. Triple bond is there. So this unsaturated compound and because triple bond it is alkyne. Here I can see uh, Br. Br means bromine. So carbon hydrogen is generally known as a hydrocarbon but if any other atom the other element is present in the molecule then it's called functional group so here the functional group is bromine the OH OH is also the functional group group of other element and uh, carbon and hydrogen O and H both are together so this is alcoholic functional group here only carbon and hydrogens are there without any double bond or triple bond so this is alkane here one triple bond is there so this is alkyne and here you can see double bond is present so this is alkene now let's start to read the question and answer them first 31st is which of the compound pqrst belong to the same homologous series now you must know what is homologous series so homologous series is the series of uh, organic compounds in which the number of carbons will be different but they will follow the same general formula for example if i tell you about the alkane okay so alkane is the number of series in which the number of carbons start from the c1 c1 means what one carbon and one carbon then hydrogen will be four because hydrogen having valency one and carbon is having valency. same general formula general formula means what your c and H2 and plus 2 it's a general formula of alkane means all the compounds present in this series alkane series is following the same general formula and that is known as a homologous series in short I can say homologous series means the series which have the same general formula which have the same functional group suppose any series have the bromine or chlorine functional group then they must follow the same general formula as well they must have the same functional group for example if OH is present then all the compound have should have OH and that is called homologous double bond then all the compounds should have double bond just like alkene I can write here alkene and uh, alkene is following C N H 2 N general formula and uh, alkyne so alkyne is following the general formula c n h 2 n minus 2 okay so if the compounds have same functional group 
or they are following the same general formula they are called from the same homologous series and here I can see that here this triple bond and here one more triple bond is there so this two P and T are having the same general formula they are following same general formula as well they have the same uh, number of bonds means a triple bond they have the same triple bonds and so our answer will be the P and T P and T are of same homologous series others you can check out here bromine is there no other bromine is present OH is there no other OH is present and one double bond is there no other double bonded compound is present so answer of the first uh, 31st question will be P and T then let's check the second question write the name of compound R write the name of compound R also write the functional group present in it so I already explained you what is functional group functional group means the extra element other than carbon and hydrogen or group of element okay so they are called functional group and I already shown you that here BR and OH are present and here the question is in R which functional group is present and its name we need to write so first of all OH OH so then after you need to know that how to write the name here two carbons are there so two carbons it means I can say it is it okay so it and then we are writing because all the single bonds are there a any ethan but because of the presence of functional group we will remove the e we will remove the e and add suffix of the functional group suffix means the word we are using to represent the functional group and after the name so we'll remove e so let me write here minus e plus suffix for oh we are writing o l okay so here o l will be the suffix of alcohol and so the final name will be ethanol the name of r is ethanol because two carbons with functional group oh and here the functional group is alcohol that is also known as a hydroxyl group okay so this is the answer of the 32nd question now let's check out the third question what is the third question what is IUPAC name of compound T and U now IUPAC name means some set of rules are given that you have to follow and uh, in that you need to know that particular suffix suffix means after the name or after the main root what you to write and the prefix means before that name what you have to write you should know so here t and u the name we need to write in question number 33 so you can see that uh, triple bond is present with two carbon so again two carbon means what eat again because of the two carbon we can write here eat eat for, for two carbon and then instead of a any we will put here by any ethine why because of the triple bond is present and if triple bond is present then we are writing y any so the name of t is ethine so what is the name of u now you can write directly if you know the double bond is there and for double bond we are writing what we are writing we are writing e any so the name of the u will be e teen e t h e n e okay so this is the name of u so answer of our question number 33 will be ethine and ethene okay so let's move to the 34th question what are the unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons means the double or triple bond present in the structural formula that compounds are known as a unsaturated hydrocarbon because of they have space 
we can add some uh, atom in it. So that is known as a unsaturated hydrocarbon. So which of the compounds P Q R S T U R example of unsaturated hydrocarbon? So already I have mentioned here. This one means uh, compound P and compound T and compound U are unsaturated compounds. Okay. So this is the answer of question number thirty-four. Other are single bonded, so they are saturated compound. So let me write here the all the answers. And uh, if you don't have subscribed till now, please subscribe my channel because I will continuously add this kind of question on my channel. Okay. So let me add answers one by one. Okay. So here on my screen, you can check out all the answers. And uh, these are the answers. Okay. This is the answer of uh, answer of question number thirty one. Then question number 32, 33, and 34. So I hope you like the video. So if you like, please like, press the like button and please subscribe for more video like this. Just do the thing like uh, pro in chemistry with chemistry art. Thank you very much.